Today, we're gonna to show you how to get that software development job when your resume shows no coding experience. Bayonetta asks, what I find most difficult is trying to convince tech employers I can perform the job when all they see when they look at my resume is manufacturing experience. I do have a link to my GitHub though, so they can at least see my projects. So running a bootcamp, we see this every day. Plenty of people come through our program with just manufacturing experience. In fact, we know a guy named Ray that came through our program and he'd worked at a concrete factory for a number of years, probably 10 or 12 or 15 years. And that was his experience. And then he got a job leaving our program. And here's what I want to say, and this is a radical thought. Like, um, what I want to tell you about is how he got the job. And you're probably thinking, I know, he went to your boot camp. That's part of it. But um, that's not the whole reason why Ray got a job. The reason he got a job is what he did to get an interview and what he did during the interview. And let me share those with you. The first thing he did was he worked with a recruiter. So you're, you're, you're hoping that your resume is going to get you to an interview. And I'm here to tell you, it's not. Until you can put one year experience on that, every resume scanner, every HR department, everyone else is going to look at that and go, oh, she's not a candidate or he's not a candidate. And so what you need to do is get past that process. A recruiter can at least get you into the door. But a recruiter's not gonna work with you either unless you can prove to them that you're marketable or sellable. And this is how you do that. You build a portfolio, and the portfolio, and it looks like you already have some GitHub work on your project, I'm gonna talk to you why that's failing to you in a second, so hold there. So you build a portfolio, and then that portfolio needs to be published on a web server where they can access it. So let's say that your GitHub is full of a lot of great work. Here's what you're asking them to do. Go to GitHub, um, clone the repository or do a pull request or whatever, pull that down a machine, get it working, make sure all the dependencies, there's any new gets or whatever, and get through all of that to get it working to see if uh, the project is as good as you say it is. But what you're asking too, you gotta think about this, it may not be the tech lead that's even seeing your resume with your link to a GitHub, and maybe an HR person. They have no idea how to do that, none which means that most people aren't even getting to the point where they can see your GitHub repo. It's the HR manager. So you gotta get around that. So if you had a functional URL, then that person can just open up Chrome and click on it and go, oh, that's a pretty cool website. Oh, that project's neat. Um, I think we can move them on. If you have a recruiter though, they are going to market you based on that portfolio. They're gonna push that portfolio in front of the HR and they're gonna have conversations like this because we do this every day because not only are we a boot camp that teaches people to code, we're also a recruiting agency that recruits people into jobs. We talk to the employers and say, listen, we know that they're working at X and X manufacturing, but if you look at their portfolio sites and you look at their prizes, you'll see that the person has demonstrated the ability to learn to code and she's well worth your time or well worth your time to interview. So please take a look at her and let's schedule an interview at a time where you can talk with her. Now the thing that Ray did, going back to Ray, and what you have to do is when you get to this interview, you need to sell that portfolio. You need to demo it. It's like you, if you're in a CS program or if you're in a boot camp, you're paying thousands of thousands of dollars to learn how to code. That's like buying a car and never driving it. You need to show that thing like nobody's business. You need to like bring your laptop in and say, hey, I know I'm glad you took the time to interview me. Can I show you my work? Because if I show you my work, we both together can make a better judgment if I'm a right fit to work at your organization. So let me show you my portfolio and open it up and just start demoing it. Now what that does, it allows you to demo your work and then if they ask to see the code of that, then you can actually go and look at the code and you can walk them through the code and you don't have to do those types of things from memory like you would if you allowed them to ask them 50 interview questions every programmer should know. If you follow those two things, get a portfolio, work with a recruiter, and then learn how to demo or talk about your portfolio, you're gonna have a way much better success in getting a job. In fact, if you show a portfolio, a working portfolio that solves business problems and you can talk about it, you will get a coding job. It's just a matter of time interviewing and doing enough work. Anyway, I hope that helps out. Good luck and keep coding. If you like that, I've created five steps to getting your first job as a software developer. Go to coderfoundry.com slash job roadmap and we lay out the five steps necessary to get that first job as a software developer. 
And if you like this video, please subscribe to get more videos just like it.